The Russian Federation has begun recruiting mercenaries from Indonesia for the war against Ukraine, the Moscow Times reports. The publication drew attention to the fact that the Armenian battalion Abat, part of the International Brigade Piat Nachka, announced the recruitment of volunteers from Indonesia. The mercenaries will be trained in the occupied territories of Ukraine. There are already a number of local residents who are ready to go to the Donetsk People's Republic, undergo training with our instructors and fight with weapons in hand, the unit's telegram channel says. The post is accompanied by a video of Indonesians shouting a laudatory slogan addressed to the battalion. Abat is a special forces unit created in September 2022, which is a mobile group of stormtroopers, RT wrote. It is commanded by former Wagner Eich Gasparian, callsign Abrek. Since July the 1st, 2023, the battalion has officially become part of the Russian Defense Ministry. Abat fighters are currently fighting in the Kursk region. The founder of the unit is Amen Sarkisyan. According to the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, he is a crime boss from the Donetsk region nicknamed Golovsky. He was linked to the family of the fugitive ex-president Viktor Yanukovych and was called the organizer of the Titushki who spoke out against the Maidan. Since 2014, Sarkisyan has been on the international wanted list at the request of Ukraine. In March, the Russian Defense Ministry stated that at least 10 mercenaries from Indonesia were fighting in the ranks of the Ukrainian armed forces. In turn, the Republic's foreign ministry noted that it had never received such information and that this information requires further study. And the spokesman for the Indonesian National Army, Major General Nugraha Gumila, emphasized that its servicemen cannot fight in Ukraine since mercenarism is illegal. The army is called upon to protect the country's sovereignty, its territorial integrity, as well as the entire nation from bloodshed. Mercenarism does not fall under any of the three listed duties of our soldiers, Gumila explained. It is known that Russia recruited Indian citizens for the war. They were lured by deception, promising high salaries and Russian passports for participation in auxiliary work and instead was sent to the front upon arrival in Moscow. Only after Prime Minister Narendra Modi personally intervened in the situation, President Vladimir Putin promised to release all such mercenaries. We control 1294 square km in Kursk region, which covers 100 settlements, 594 Russian armed forces soldiers captured, according to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sersky. He said that about 30,000 occupiers were transferred to the Kursk direction. The enemy is withdrawing troops from other directions, but is increasing efforts in Pokrovsky. SYRSKY emphasized that one of the objectives of the Kursk operation was to distract Russian forces, including from the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions. One of the objectives of the Kursk operation was precisely to divert significant enemy forces, primarily in the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine noted at a panel discussion within the framework of the forum Ukraine 2024. Independence he added that the situation in the Pokrovsk direction remains difficult. More than 50 combat clashes take place every day. The Russians actively use their advantage in manpower and military equipment, in particular artillery and aviation. Sersky noted that the main offensive actions are being conducted by new infantry groups. Russia is trying to knock out the section of the road Kostyantinivka Pokrovsk, by which it is trying to disrupt the logistical connection of the Ukrainian defense forces, he says. Sersky adds that the Russians are advancing in this direction at a very high cost. On average, Ukrainian soldiers neutralize 300 invaders every day in this direction, work is actively underway on the daily equipment of our positions and defense lines, the commander-in-chief notes. He adds that despite the difficult situation, Pokrovsk remains under the control of the Ukrainian military. The command of the defense forces is doing everything possible to stabilize the situation in this direction, Sersky assures.